welcome back guys so ladies and gentlemen I got it here the lawsuit against safe moon from United States District Court Central Division District of Utah okay um, I thought about going through only a short portion of this uh, as I say Christopher Raka Ukas individually and on behalf of all others. Okay, um, the plaintiff. The guys who are suing Safe Moon. Okay, so this is quite interesting actually, this whole lawsuit. I really hope uh, it's gonna be more about this because right now it's just been so quiet what's happening okay so let's see here page one plaintiff christopher rakaukas okay together with the class okay oh by the way here look here D they demand for a yuri yuri trial so it's not going to be a bench trial a bench trial means that the judge themselves will like yeah make a decision your trial is by other people that lives, um, I guess, in Utah. I, I really don't know how the Yuri trial goes here, but they're not even started to select Yuri yet, so I guess it's like really early. However, okay, here, plaintiffs Christopher Rakaukas. I hope I pronounce his name right, or else maybe he'll sue me. Okay, uh, together with the class, plaintiffs, okay. Uh, individually and on behalf of all others similarly situated brings this class action complaint against defendants. Safe Moon LLC. Okay, um, everybody knows that, everybody can read it, but here we have some celebrities jake paul nick carter oh backstreet boys i did it that way okay deandre cortez way ben phillips i really think i would win over ben phillips if i would fight him yeah uh okay dave portno okay uh an individual defendants Bra Braden, John, Caroni, Jack Hain. Okay, let's see here. Here, okay, introduction one. This action arises from defendants' issuance and promotion of digital assets known as Safe Moon tokens. Two, Safe Moon and its principles are among the scores of profiteers who have attempted to ride on the coattails of the most success successful, successful cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum by developing and issuing their own new crypto assets by taking advantage of retail investors hopes of investing in the next Bitcoin the creators of a new crypto asset can profit to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars. The success of many such schemes comes down to marketing. 3. The marketing of the Safe Moon tokens started with their name, derived from the phrase safely to the moon. The name was meant to imply that the tokens were a safe way of getting to the moon, okay. which in parlance of uh, cryptocurrency investors refers to a rapid increase in value. Okay, maybe not rapid, but I would r remove the word here rapid, okay? Yes, two. Okay, four. Safe Moon and its principles mark the tokens relentlessly on social media platforms, especially Twitter. Indeed, as CoinDesk notes, Safe Moon is shilled endlessly on Twitter 
By way of example, a few weeks after the issuance of the first SafeMoon tokens, SafeMoon tweeted 396 million yeah, blah 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 burned. In response, defended Carony tweeted new all-time high. Check continual burns. Also check Moon imminent. The acronym okay. It, ATH refers to an all time high price. Okay, sorry. Five, Safe Moon also enlisted a cohort, cohort of celebrity promoters who exploited their fan bases and their social media platforms to drum up interest in the Safe Moon tokens. One such celebrity was one such celebrity promoter was Dave Portnoy, the creator of the Bars Do Sports blog. Portnoy created a video hawking the Safe Moon tokens that was watched by at least 1.5 million people. The day Portnoy posted it online and was featured on Fox Business the following day. In the video, Portnoy recommended to his followers. If it is a Ponzi, get in on the ground floor. Hmm, yeah. I think he lost too a lot. Okay. To the moon, safely we go. He further discloses that he has purchased 40,000 US dollars in safe moon tokens and that he will not sell in the near future. Portnoy tweeted later that day. P.S. Safe Moon is up 25% since I adopted it and rules of hashtag Safe Moon. Always tell people you bought it, never sell it. Get pucks in deep and make memes. <laughs> Sorry for that, I'm a bit tired. It's after 1 a.m. here. I'm gonna go to bed soon. Okay, 5. Safe Moon also enlisted a cohort. Oh, wait, I said that. Sorry. Number six, purchases of Safe Moon tokens lost hundreds of millions of dollars. Some lost money when false representatives regarding the tokens came to light. Others lost money when Safe Moon issued a second version of Safe Moon tokens, known as the V2, and imposed a 100% tax on transactions in the original V1. V1 token, effectively confiscating them when investors attempted to complete transactions. Of course, investors never would have suffered any of those losses if the Safe Moon tokens had never been issued. Hmm, that's true. 7. The Safe Moon tokens were illegal from the start, created from thin air. They had no use whatsoever. That's true. They had no use. Still no use. The in entirety of their value was investors' hope that their market price would appreci appreciate when SafeMoon developed products such as a cryptocurrency wallet, as explained in greater details below. They fall squarely under the definition of a security under federal law, as established by the Supreme Court in SEC versus W. J. Howe C. O. Okay, you can read it yourself here. In 1946. Okay, that's old. Um, okay. And as applied to the context of digital in the SEC, oh, SEC, not SEC, sorry, SEC, Stock Exchange Committee, Framework for Investment Contract Analysis of Digital Assets published in 2019. Okay, one thing I have to mention here, uh, created from thin air, they had no use whatsoever. Okay, the, actually that is the exactly the same thing as Bitcoin when it first was created. Um, eight. Indeed, SafeMoon's principles acknowledge and even tout it, tout, 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 okay, sorry, that the SafeMoon tokens were analogous to a stock 
Okay, so it's equal to the stock, which is of course a paradigmatic example of a security. As defendant Ariaga, say Moonhound, right? Yeah. Proclaimed in a video online or online video. Look at any asset class in the world. You can well define it as a Ponzi scheme. However, you can't do that with stocks because they're based on intrinsic value. They're based on the intrinsic value of a company. So as the company does well and it releases features, guess what? The stock goes up. As the company does bad or has bad PR, the stock goes down. Now, just because you got into a company before IPO, does that mean that you got into a Ponzi scheme? No, no, that actually doesn't. Now you don't need your Series A to understand this very basic concept. I wouldn't call SafeMoon a Ponzi scheme because SafeMoon has intrinsic value. Hmm. Maybe to the SafeMoon army who's 90% down from their initial investments. They should also get into on this lawsuit. Like every single Safe Moon army person or Safe Moon family, whatever you want to call yourself, should get in on this lawsuit and sue Safe Moon. Okay. Number nine. Yet defendants did not file registration statements for Safe Moon tokens with the SEC as the federal security law require. Those laws were enacted to protect investors following the stock market crash of 1929, almost 100 years, and the Great Depression that followed. I remember that one. In like junior high school or in like ninth grade, I did a paper on the Great Depression and the stock crash in 1929. That was my first interest in economics. Uh, almost 100 years later, the guardrails those laws put in place here afford remedies to investors who purchased SafeMoon tokens, which SafeMoon principles and sales claim are analogous to a stock. Defendants' conduct, including their confiscation, confiscation of V1 token, safe moon tokens, also give rise to common law claims for conversion and unjust enrichment. Okay, I'm going to stop there on number 9. I'm going to do start from number 10 tomorrow. So, until then, I'll say goodnight and I'll listen back to you tomorrow now. Okay. Good night wherever you are or good morning, good evening and all that, you know. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye.